Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Chameleon Craft. Today we're going to be finishing off the storage room, hopefully getting the main basics of it done. Uh, last episode you probably saw me doing it, uh, just literally only cutting out the room. Um, but today we're going to try and finish off the actual storage room itself, uh, not get any chests in, just have the main design. I'm just getting some of this uh, Arcacia wood because it's got a really cool grey texture and it goes quite well with the design I'm going with. Um, I'm trying to go with like a an almost stony industrial feel to it rather than a cliche you know just wood everywhere um, etho design so I'm gonna go show you that now um, and then you'll kind of understand what I'm getting at okie dokie so we're back at the base and just gonna fall down the hole let's go down this is what I've done so far um, I'm gonna go for this design this wood and um, what is this and a site design because I think that looks really cool However, I want this Arcacia wood because I feel that I could have it going along here sideways and it might look like some kind of support beam, but I'm not sure how good that will look. I might have it trying to come up from the bottom as well. However, yeah, it does look a bit dodgy against this wood because they're both the same texture, but I mean that. It kind of looks okay. Let's try it this way. Let's see what this looks like. It, look, it, it looks alright, maybe maybe if we just have it on the top, that might look better. So like this. That kind of works quite well, actually. Because I don't want it all to be one texture, otherwise that would just look really, really, really bad. Like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like that. Because it's kind of making like the industrial stone look over the old um, kind of medieval wooden look, which I really like. Um, I'm going to carry on with this um, ceiling design, going down uh, this way, this way, and this way. But um, these storage cells, I'm, I'm going to call these cells. They can't. There's no way of me putting it in here, making with you know making it look nice. So what I'm thinking of doing is here, uh, that section there and this section here. I'm going to have kind of like a room maybe for like an enchantment table or something like that or maybe like a um, maintenance room for all the hoppers that are going to be running into the chest. I'm not quite sure but that area and that area for sure are going to be different. I think this bit here will be kind of like a almost like a shrine with diamonds and things in. Like I could have a, um, a block like that with a chest on top of it and you know, a centered back um, in a hollowed out room which will kind of look quite nice because that, that could be where my diamonds and iron go and then all this other storage is for the other boring crap that I have. Um, I want to make the ceiling um, almost kind of rise up to like a point or have it at least you know kind of kind of looking good so I don't know what blocks I can use to do that. I want to kind of stick with these grey blocks. Um, so maybe let's try something. Let's try hmm, it's a bit weird because I've got this, this odd Kind of, I've got grey arcacia wood, grey arcacia wood, normal wood, stone. So it's going to be a bit weird unless I put a border around in the middle first. So let's get this polished die right and do this, and then put the polished die right like that. Do I have any more? Got some more die right. Good thing about building underground with these materials, you kind of get them back as you build because you. You're building into new areas and getting all these blocks back. Um, okay, I like that. I do like that. However, it does feel, mm, yeah, it's even. It does feel a bit off-centered. Oh, it is off-centered, isn't it? It's turned to an even number now, rather than being odd. Oh, that's going to be annoying. That is. It's going to be really annoying. Right? Maybe. Hmm. This is going to be an odd one to figure out. You can see the problem I'm having here. Uh, we're basically we've got. It would be ideal if this was Arcacia wood going all the way around, but that means we'd have to have this pillar here instead of in the wall. Let's actually see what that looks like. That might look all right. It kind of it kind of obscures the view a bit though. That's the only problem. Let me just try it here as well. 
kind of makes it into more of a room you can see but then that would make the pattern easier because then I could run this arcade wood round like this it would be here as well wouldn't it then uh, maybe that does work yeah maybe that does work maybe that does look alright it's just um, oh. mm, yeah that, that's good I think I'm going to go with that Okay, so this is what I've come up with for the ceiling. Um, the oh, I keep forgetting the names of these blocks. The diorite, then some half slabs, and in there I think I'll have a um, glowstone lamp kind of there, so it kind of sticks out a bit. Of course, so we don't have any of those yet, so we haven't got any glowstone. But that is, I like this design. I really do. I think that's that's pretty much the one we're going to go for. Um, so now all I've got to do is finish off. Um, this area do exactly the same on this side but what I want to do now because you know this bit boring is me copying that I want to design everything on this side first so that I can do exactly the same this side and then this will be completely separate and um, so it will kind of be mirrored so this will be the mirror line here if that makes sense so everything on this side is the same as that side um, so what I want to do now is hollow out this area I have no idea what will go in here yet but I've got an idea for a sort of a design um, so what we can do first is take the diorite, take it down one block like this, a bit like how it does it in the uh, stairs, like here, a bit like that. I really like the way those two blocks look. They look together as are well, the uh, slabs and the um, diorite. But we can do that, and then we can do it one more time. Bring it down one more time. like so that doesn't look too bad actually that looks quite nice let's see if I can keep bringing it down until maybe it's two blocks off the ground there we go that doesn't look too 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 bad actually looks kind of alright um, However, it does feel like I'm just trying to push a room back. It does look like a bit of a corridor now, and I don't want that. I just wanted it an indent. So maybe bring it forward one more. Maybe that'll look a bit better. So like this. Oops. Like that. Hmm, I don't know, that kind of feels better. What about this? Well, I kind of like that. I don't know what would go in this area, though, that's the only problem. Uh, maybe an enchantment table I could put somewhere in here. That does feel better. I do like that. Maybe if we have bookshelves, this is actually the perfect amount. So if I say this dirt is bookshelves, we can go bookshelf, 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 going back, maybe into the wall. That might look a bit funky actually. So the craft, it'll go there, that's where the enchantment will go. Like that. And then maybe this should go back all the way if there's going to be an enchantment table. But that look really cool. So like. Um, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that's got to go back as well, like so. Then like one, two, three, four. Oh, I like that. Well, that looks actually that looks really cool. And then let's put these half slabs in. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I do like that actually. Yeah, and then let's put these um, blocks here, this polish and a site. Down the side like this. Whoops. Eh hey, hey. Sweet, I like that. That's really cool. However, it does feel a bit weird with the block being there, you'd be able to see the pillar and then not being able to see that one, but that works. 
That actually does work really well for an enchantment area. And then I can have something here, maybe a chest there, chest there, chest there. Actually, would a chest be able to go there? Hmm, if it did, right, because you know chests there, not full blocks, you can kind of see around them. If a chest went there, you'd be able to see it. Um, but that, I like that. And obviously I can't do this for the other side. Maybe I'll have to put a brewing station on the other side. So maybe here would be my tools and things and blocks. And then this side would be kind of like nether rack and things. So it's easier to get to. So, you know, I'd have, I'd have exactly the same design, but potions. So a brewery, so I could be able to get stuff like this. Go to the chests, come back. Over here, you know, enchant, get the books, get the weapons, come back. So that works. So let's see how many chests I'm going to have. Two, four, six, eight. 16. I'm going to have 16 chests. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad actually. 16 chests. 16 double chests even. Not too bad at all. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do for today. I um, hope you guys enjoy this little episode of just me rambling. I'm trying out different recording styles. So, you know, last episode was quite choppy and cutty and stuff. But this episode is um, going to be, you know, a bit me talking at you and saying what I'm doing. Tell me what you like in the comments and I will see you in my next episode. Thank <music> you.